Hi friends, this is Trang with Runaway Rice. Today I'm sharing with you a recipe for Vietnamese egg meatloaf, also called gia dung. This dish is typically steamed, but I'll show you that baking it is much easier. Let's walk through the steps for this delicious and simple dish. For this recipe, we will need ground pork, canned crab meat, eggs, bean thread noodle, dried black fungus slivers, part of an onion, green scallions, minced garlic, olive oil, fish sauce, oyster sauce, and black pepper. Let's start by soaking the package of bean thread noodles in a bowl of warm water. Allow the noodles to soak for about 10 minutes until they soften. We're going to repeat the same step with the dried black fungus. Soak them in a bowl of warm water for 10 minutes to rehydrate them. After the noodles are softened and mushrooms are rehydrated, drain and place them in separate bowls. Put the canned crab meat into a sieve. Using a spoon, gently press the crab meat to remove the excess liquid. Now add the drained crab into a large bowl with the ground pork. Okay, now for a little bit of chopping. Place the noodles on a cutting board and cut into small pieces. Make sure the strands are all chopped up. Now add the noodles to our bowl. Chop up the mushrooms into fine pieces as well and add to our mixing bowl. Next up on the chopping block are the onions. Finally dice the onions and add it to our bowl. Just one more item to chop. Now finely chop the scallions. This adds a really nice color to our meat mixture. In our bowl, we have the ground pork, canned crab meat, noodles, mushrooms, onions, and scallions. Now we add five whole eggs. For the two remaining eggs, add just the whites to the meat mixture and set aside the two yolks in a separate small bowl. We'll use this later to top our meatloaf. Now for our seasonings, add the minced garlic, olive oil, fish sauce, oyster sauce, and the last ingredient is black pepper. Before we go any further with the meat mixture, let's prepare everything for baking. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. To make the meatloaf, we will need two baking dishes, one 8x8 baking dish and one 13x9. Place the smaller baking dish into the larger one. Spray nonstick cooking spray into the smaller baking dish. Use a paper towel to evenly smear the oil in the pan. Back to the meat mixture. Now combine everything together. I find that using our hands is the best way to get everything nicely blended. Put the meat mixture into the smaller baking dish. Using our hand, distribute the meat mixture evenly into the baking dish. Now pour boiling water into the larger baking dish, filling it about halfway. Put both baking dishes into the oven and bake for 45 minutes. Now let's check our meatloaf. After 45 minutes of baking, insert a toothpick into the center. If it comes out clean, it's done. Take the two egg yolks we set aside earlier. Using a small brush, coat the top of the meatloaf with the egg yolks. Return the meatloaf to the oven, but here's one trick. Don't close the oven door. This will turn the egg yolk mixture white. Instead, just turn off the oven and allow the meatloaf to sit in the oven for another five minutes. And the results? A delicious egg meatloaf with a golden layer of egg yolks on top. Please stay tuned for future videos, and I'll show you how to build upon this dish to make a delicious rice plate. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you like this recipe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. You can also post comments and questions on my Facebook page. The page name is The Runaway Rice. I'll share more recipes and videos coming soon, so please subscribe to my channel. This is Trang from Runaway Rice, wishing you good eating and good health. See you all soon.